start the recording. So I never know how long a game's going to take. You know, the, key, the we have uh, as as the readings are getting a little higher, they're taking more time, which is good. Okay, perk defense. Now, usually, okay, like uh, the Austrian attack, it was uh, all the rage back in the 70s and thereabouts. Uh, Karpov uh, preferred a slower approach, knight out and bishop out. Uh, bishop g5, white's, white's kind of signaling that what he wants to do is put his queen here and castle here and trade off the bishop and start a pawn storm or preserve that option. All right, we suddenly we see uh, White taking some time. Look at that. I, you know, this, this is what I like to see. When you, you take your time, you think. You, know, you start thinking about, what do I want to do here? What am I trying to accomplish? Ask yourself that the next time you play. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? Where do you want your pieces? You know, and, and be, but watch out, your opponent's trying to trying to do the same thing to you. So now there is a p potential threat to to kick that and take this. So here, uh, White kind of changes changes his plans to weaken. Weaken Black's pawn structure. I don't know if this is the right choice or not. Um, my gut feeling is no. And the reason is, is that you know White did have always have the option of coming back and castling kingside. He doesn't have to castle queenside to start his attack. But you know Black has, now has an extra defender that White can't really contest. Uh, you know, yes, he has double pawns, but at some point, you know, Black is going to be able to shed that extra pawn. And that bishop on g7 may become a very, very valuable piece when black conducts his, his attack against the white king, if white castles queenside. All right. I mean, that's, that's, it would seem to me to be a great strategy. And, you know, white did take the knight on f6 unprovoked. And, you know, uh, I don't think black is going to ever play h6. Because, you know, they wouldn't be able to castle. You know, White just retreats the bishop or something, and he wouldn't be able to castle without dropping this pawn. But, but still, we want, you know, we don't have to commit to it yet. If you really want to attack on the king side, and I have one student that likes to, he likes to play this type of setup as, as White. And, and yeah, he usually puts the bishop here, and then he'll, he'll go for this and this and this. You know, it leads to some interesting games. Uh, but White always gets some kind of an attack in, so I don't think this was the right choice. But we'll see how it works out. Now, Black should get ready for this. He does, good. Now, now this doesn't seem, in a way, this doesn't seem to make sense. Uh, okay, let, let, let me try to explain why I say this doesn't make sense. Okay, first off, this bishop already had a diagonal. Second, you've weakened this square. Okay, now, if White is going to opt, if this was all a bluff, he doesn't want to go here after all, then there was no point in trading off trading off the bishop. See, let, you know, let me give you an example. Uh, you know, with even if you don't want to attack on the king side, I mean, we can still you know, just play a few random moves. We can still opt for this, and and you know, White is fine. He didn't have to part with that bishop. Okay. Let's go back. Uh, protecting the pawn. You now this this threat was alive again. And white does castle. Okay, so maybe Black shouldn't have put the bishop here, uh, and you know, and tried for f5, but. Because you know this is this this bishop can become a good piece even if White didn't castle queenside. Remember, White no longer has a dark squared bishop, and and Black does. So Black wants to uh, show it on the board. You know, let's let's see what this bishop can influence. You know, White does have a lot of pawns on dark squares, which take the place of his bishop, but. 
you know, black black with the two bishops would be doing okay. I mean, it's still even. It's it's still it's still a fair fight. Okay. Uh, by any means, hey, I got a whole lot of people. I don't see my father in here. He likes to sneak in and watch me. Hi, Dad. If you're if you're lurking, uh, I like to brag about him. He said, "Tell tell uh, tell him he was a Navy SEAL." Uh, my dad uh, did four years in college through the uh, uh, Naval ROTC, and then he missed Korea, uh, and uh, he was underwater demolition. And one of his diving buddies was uh, Charles. Diving party diving partners was uh, Charles Lindbergh's son. It's a fact. Okay. Uh, let's see. So this exposes an attack on e4. So black is using his light squared bishop. So, you know, white's got a little target he has to keep an eye on. Black looks a little better to me. So Zwish and Zug, I'm going to take you. Okay, now what are we going to do about this? Well, you know, good job on the time. Look at black's time. Uh, so, you know, I was wondering about this move. I didn't mention it. Uh, look, what, look what White's minor pieces have become. You know, the, you know it's almost like black, uh, White is playing like he's black here. He's playing a, 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 a stoic defensive position. Okay. More pressure on E4. Well, uh, not enough pressure, but more. Okay, activate the knight. I guess maybe he wants to try to get this in. Now, he says, if you go here, I'll just take it. And you're pinned. So, you, know, you could do something like this, but bishop here may be a nuisance. So maybe white should park this rook on e1 and think about bringing this bishop around here. But we still have to be careful. You know, f5... F5 could come in. It's a move that Black wants to play. Let me get rid of those arrows. Uh, this is a move Black definitely wants to play, and he can get away with it soon because because of the pin. Now he can't. Uh, so we got a couple of guys here that need to get involved. Now he's going to threaten to chase that queen around a little bit. And let's see, white elects to uh, lock things up on the queen side. But now I, 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 I don't recall ever seeing a statistic, but to my knowledge, from what I've seen, an empassant capture is the correct thing to do almost every time. Now there are exceptions. Uh, I, I can show you a game where I didn't play empassant. I actually covered it. Uh, couple weeks ago during my first week uh, game I played way back in 1973 I have this crazy memory for things that happened in games that I played forever ago uh, so if black does take on Bassant, he uh, he does separate his pawns I don't know I would say this is a position where you probably don't want to do it you know it's going to activate that white rook Let's see what happens Okay, so good choice. Now you're trying to come in here and bother that queen further. So you know, black is getting black is getting a very very nice game here. Uh, you know, that could even end up here with more pressure on c4. You know, to gain a tempo, sh you know, shove that pawn. Maybe it'll come in. Uh, you know. So now white's trying to relieve the stress somewhere, somehow, somewhere. I would strongly consider this move again. And, uh, you know, let's, let's see if he has enough time. Let's see what he did. Okay, let's look at this briefly because I mentioned it. Um, Bishop a6. Okay, white has to do something here. Let's put the rook on the e file. I just want a little extra protection. I'm just picking a move at random. If we can find a better one, we will. Now, 
I guess Black has nothing to fear if the pawns are traded. You know, he might even take back that way. And who knows, maybe you know, maybe this knight could come into play. You know, Black's getting a lot of options, but let's uh, Black to play. Let's just play this. And, you know, the purpose of this move is if it, if it were if it were Black's move, let's burn a move for White. You know, this 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 can get ugly for White in our way. Yeah. You know, ugh. Now let's go pin that knight. And, uh, you know, White's just tied in knots. Now, we're just, let's, who cares about that uh, dark squared bishop? Uh, you know, a knight sunk in your position here is kind of like a rusty nail in your knee. Ugh. Okay. I mean, this is totally playable. And, you know, it, I don't know if my move is the correct move. Uh, you know, a lot of times you guys play the moves that I suggest. And my answer there is, you know, your, your guys are all capable of making grandmaster moves. I mean, the simple proof is how many times did you solve a tactic which was from a game which was won by a grandmaster, right? You, you can play them some of the time, just not as often as they can, okay? So, you guys, you, you know, I'm, 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 I'm happy with the play I'm seeing now that the ratings are going up to the higher ones. I covered all the low-rated ones first. Uh, but the lower rated guys, they're, they're doing fine, too. We just need to slow down. Okay? <laughs> and, again, they're doing a great job on the time, both sides. Uh, you know, I've said at move 20, you need about 22 minutes. And both sides are there. So, uh, let's see what happens. White to play. Okay, brought that rook over. That's good file. There's that, as expected. Now is he going to try knight e5, or maybe maybe white gets f4 in? But then, I don't know, we get this knight into d3. Let's see what black does. Yeah, very good. And he did it in a minute came off his clock, so a minute and 45 seconds. Okay, he's hanging in there. White's in moderate time pressure. So here, uh, you know, white, white accepts a weakness in his position to reduce the activities of uh, Black's pieces. Now, what's the weakness? Well, you just weaken d4. So, you don't want to bring this knight back and, and 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 once again, try to find a way to get f5 in, and, you know, we just own that d4 square. So, now, I noticed this. I don't think anything's going to happen with this. We have to keep an eye on these things. You'd be surprised how quick some of these pieces can vacate... <laughs> the squares they were protecting. Okay, well that just drives him where he wants to go. And, you know, this is coming. Uh, I guess he can go here. But then black can finally get that in to activate this. Of course, if white exchanges, his bishop gets in the game. It, it's, it's, uh, it's, this is a good fight. I, I just happen to like black better. That's all I... Uh, black's chance is a little bit better. Okay. So, let's see, before, before we discuss that, uh, what would be the ideal square for this knight? How about right here to pressure this? How do you get it there? Well, you got to get it to, something's got to move, uh, you know. It takes four moves to get it there. Three to get the knight, one to get the queen out of the way, and then white gets four moves too. So I just don't. I, I mean, you have a you have a knight that could you could try to coordinate to d4 or put up some other pressure with it. You know, it, just to trade it off doesn't seem right. Now white, has, you know, white has the option to trade. It might relieve some of the pressure, and it does tend to neutralize those black bishops. So I don't think knight e7 was the correct choice. Keep that knight on the board. Now, white should get rid. Well, he doesn't have to trade it. But what happens if black sees the error in his ways and, and remaneuvers this thing? You know, white might have to take it. I don't know. They, now, I probably don't want to take and give up a pass pawn. Okay, still don't want to take. But, you know, we need, we need to redeploy this knight. We need to find a square for the queen so this knight can move. Okay, just wasting a move. Well, not wasting a move. Spending a tempo, I guess. Why doesn't 
you know, White's happy with the status quo, but now the queen side is locked. Okay, brought it back. Okay, good. But it's still a, a, a long way away from here. So, is this the time for f5? No, not yet. Okay, let's look at f5. Let's, well, White could push by. Doesn't have to push by, but I'm saying he could push by. Uh, hit him while he's down. No, he can't do that. Let's drop a pawn. Uh, but we can prepare that. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Maybe F5 is out of the question. It was, it was the option earlier. But, you know, it's a shame this bishop isn't helping. You know, black's got the two bishops, but they're not doing much. White's got a bishop, and it's not doing much. So, yeah, it's still a fair fight. Well, one thing White's got to be careful about, if he's going to shuffle pieces around, if he moves his pawns, he's making them weaker. So, you know, g3 could be a problem child later. He's also putting that pawn on the color of his bishop. Okay? You know, he, six of his, no, five of his uh, seven pawns are on the color of his bishop. That's not necessarily a good thing. Yeah, you know, you'd be surprised. You get down to an ending, and Black's has this great bishop, light squared bishop, penetrating uh, uh, White's position, attacking the pawns, maybe from behind, and you know your 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 uh, unprotecting dark squares, and that dark square bishop may come to life. You know, either maybe you don't see it now, but you'd be surprised how these things change. And now he does do that, so I think he fires his best. Check. Check. Okay, well, I'm not too sure about that. Let's see. Check. Check. No, it went that way. Well, this gave Black the open file. Black can now double up on this open file. Uh, let's see. I th let's back this up. Okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe you can't do this because because of that. So. Okay. Uh, maybe it was. Maybe I missed it. Maybe when I suggested e5 earlier, I, this was under fire. But that might have been when this was back here. Check. Okay, that might be four. So black is Check. black is doing great here. He found the f5 at the right time. Now on rook here, this could be a nuisance. White's trying to get some activity going. Uh, let's see what uh, black does. Okay, well this is this is logical. Uh, let's go attack a weak pawn. Let's keep the pressure here. And if you come here, I might just might check you on one of these two squares. I, well, I can always steal that. I missed that. Maybe white did too, or black did. I don't know. But he's definitely got compensation here because of his control on the D file. Now let's see. I guess he thought this was too risky, and I tend to agree. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're dropping a piece here. Duh. Okay. So wait. Wait, 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 wait. I'm missing something here. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. He's on the rook. Okay, he doesn't have time for this. Now he comes back to defend f3. And here he's hoping for a queen trade, and he's a pawn ahead. But this threatens this. So maybe white has to come here, but then that's one less defender here. And this is coming. Well, no, it's not. The bishop covers it. We, we protected that. Okay, but there comes that bishop. Now we have to watch out that this bishop doesn't find its way here safely. That would be embarrassing for White. And look at their time. I mean, th these guys are th these guys are doing a great job. Okay, uh, ratings are almost equal. The uh, White's a pawn up, but Black has a strong position. So this is exciting league chess. Okay, now, I've been talking about that move earlier. It's back, but uh, if takes, you get a check. He would have to come back. 
but then this guy is loose. I guess you could bring bring the queen back. Let's see what happens. Check. Okay, he does do that. Now we have to cover this. Maybe maybe one of these moves is strong for white. Uh, but we gotta watch out. There's a there's a nasty check coming up. Uh, that's a very nasty check. Let's see what happens. Okay, protects his knight, which was loose. So let's see. Come back to this idea. I mean, what is what does check. White do here? You know, King has no legal move. Look at look at these bishops. I mean, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> You couldn't ask for two better bishops. You know, you, you have to do this. And, you know, pins are good things. I get, well, you, I don't know, White's spending a mate in two here. Uh, let's see, I guess you need to take... Check. And... Let's see. Black is ahead of the exchange. White has this threat. Uh, now sometimes we, we reject lines like this. We don't think we can, it's white, we don't think we can go into this. But maybe maybe white has something here. Let's see. It's always fun to solve a position like this. You know, just because black's ahead of the exchange doesn't mean he's going to win. You know, case in point, you know, bring the rook back. How do you stop mate? You know, your mate is halted. You don't have a check. See, we can't we can't get on this diagonal with the queen safely. Uh, you know, it's not this is not that easy. Uh, it, you know, even though Black's just won the exchange, and I said that was a killer check. Well, the bishop's gone, uh, and if we give back the exchange, we're a pawn down. So. Uh, if we bring the rook this way, not only is it unprotected, Check. Know, we're running into what could be Check. a very annoying sequence. Let me look at that. Kaboom. And, you know, this poor rook dies. And white's got the mate, the mate covered. So let's see. Now this is... Let's try this. You know, now the threat is queen takes rook as well as queen takes here, so let's protect everything. Oh wait, then we drop this. Yeah, so, interesting. Uh, you know, uh, wait, let's see, what was I saying? This move, this move may win for white. But, you know, here's the, here's the, tra the tragedy. The tragedy is that, that I'm, you know, as much time as I'm spending looking at this, White's clock is ticking. So you know, it's hard to it, it's hard to work all this out if and, and you know unless you're unless you're higher rated. Now doesn't mean Black can't work it out. Or, I'm sorry, White or Black can't work it out. But uh, you know, it's it's not difficult. You know, this is why you know your ideal tournament is longer time controls. So I, I'm going to just interject. I hope everyone that's watching this, your goal is to go play in a real tournament. You know, 40 years ago, we didn't have an internet. We want to play chess. We went to a tournament. You can always find, if you're near any major metropolitan area, you can usually find find a tournament, one or more tournaments a month. And, uh, you know, the grandmasters will show up so they get to see real real life grandmasters. You make friends that last last forever. I mean, one of our observers is a friend of mine I've known for over 50 years, uh, you know, and uh, you know, chess is a lifetime sport. And, you know, I have other friendships going back almost as long in chess. So, you, you know, you'll make them too. So this is, knight g5 might have been playable. Now, does black have to take that rook? Check. That, that bishop turned out to be a val valuable thing. Well, he still has to guard that rook on f7. And that's not necessarily that easy. Uh, you know, white is threatening a mate in two. So, 
you know, it's one of those, like I say, one of these remarkable positions that we uh, we don't think we can do something, but we can. Uh, I mean, I haven't I haven't found uh, how Black uh, saves his game here. That doesn't mean he doesn't. Sometimes I miss I miss the obvious. Uh, we all do. Fast, very fascinating position. This is the kind of position I can sit and look at for five hours. Well, I'm not going to, you know, but I'm, I'm giving. And this is, you know, this is what gives you a passion for chess. Okay, when you get a position like this and try to solve it, uh, you know, it looks like black is crushing, but, but surprise, white's running a mate in two. We got to deal with that. And even though we can deflect the king, you know, black doesn't have another any other check but this. That's safe. Check. So maybe maybe black has to. Well, no. You know, I'm trying to give back the exchange. Let's see. That's not the way to do it. This queen check. Let's see. Maybe this move. But you know, white's still a pawn up, and we have check. we have new checks. Now maybe that's overshooting the hand a little bit. Let's see, or overplaying the hand. Let's check. see, check there. Uh, King must guard the rook. Let's pick this one. We get another check there with the knight if we want. King here. Well, we're out of checks with the queen. We have a knight check. check. Maybe, maybe White can force a draw. I mean, I haven't solved this yet, and you know. Uh, it's definitely a position that you could sit and work with. Uh, you know, I had a, a case, an example. I, I've done it on, I have it on, I think, Video Lesson 3 on my YouTube playlist. Yeah, it's on Video Lesson 3. I showed a game I played uh, back in 76, and I had a winning position, but I didn't see it. And But I took it home, and I, and every line, I found, I worked out every line to prove that, that, uh, that White had a, a win. I was, you know, right around 1900. I was playing a 2200, became around 2500 strength, and I had him, but he got away. Uh, but I learned a lot just by analyzing him. This, this is, this is what you do with chess. You know, you want to get better. You got to study the positions. So this is, this is a quite remarkable game. Okay, so he went there, and I. This could still come. Check. That does. Now, this may or may not, this is not a threat anymore because this is mate. Now, why wasn't that a threat earlier? Oh, because we still had the bishop here. See, the bishop is guarding g2. Yeah, okay, so now, Check. now this threat is neutralized and black's, black's looking good. And look at white's clock. See, he took... He probably looked at this and couldn't work it out. You know, the clock worked against him. Uh, you know, uh, turn real tournaments have longer time controls than 45-45. It's one of the things, I mean, I love 45-45 events, but it's one thing I didn't like about him because I'm still playing quicker than I would in a real tournament. So, check. This is not no longer a threat, and Block seems to be on top. Now that threatens to win the knight. Uh, also, remember, remember what I talked about weakening that g3 pawn? There it is. Check. So it looks like white's trying to gain some time. It has a check on e5. Check. Black could run out here. He does. Good job. And there goes the pawn on g3. Okay, so forcing with the increment, White's getting some time back. And he does steal that pawn. Somehow I thought he stole that pawn earlier. Oh no, he didn't steal a pawn, he stole a bishop. Yeah, okay. So Black has dropped a piece. Uh, was it a sack? Yeah, I guess you could go here with the queen and keep everything under wraps. So he only has two pawns for the piece. 
White still has to defend this. This is long term. I'd say white now. Check. Check. Stepping into a pin might not have been the best choice. Have poor knights pinned in two directions. So here, White saying, uh, "Go ahead, take my pawn." Let's see. I don't know, could allow rook c3. You want queen c3 instead. He's aiming for the king. King Check. pressure. Now, if White has a perpetual check, it might be wise to take it. Uh, this is this you know this king looks very shaky. Check. 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 And and the game ends in a draw. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it did. Let me just verify. Game drawn by repetition. Yeah. Okay. That was that was that was a really, really fascinating game. Uh you know, black seem to have the upper hand. You know, as I was explaining the whole way, but but, but white took his time and, and defended. See, here's an example of what happens when you spend your time. You know, you you held the position. Uh, black, if black had a win, he didn't find it. If if white's knight g5 worked, he didn't find it. If 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 it didn't work, I didn't find it. <laughs> Okay, so let's let's back it up a little bit. Uh, so it seemed like White got White got going when he got e6 in. Let's see, well, he dropped the pawn first. Okay, so e5, Black played here, and then came e, and he took that. Okay, so let's let's not let's not play uh, let's not play uh, uh, Queen d3. Uh, let's play rook c7. I hate to defend, but uh, black does still control the d file. Okay. So, you know, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a better line for black, you know. Now, what 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 the uh, what White has been doing for a while is wiggle wagging his pieces. He was moving pawns. He wasn't wiggle wagging pieces. Let's try this one. Let's get that king off this diagonal. Uh, and you know White wants to wiggle waggle. Now let's get this bishop in the game. Although it's not really in the game, uh, you know it's still this is still a very very tough fight. But now we're free to bring the rook back here. See, there's a big difference. You know, I was talking about that D file earlier. This is a this is a way for Black to uh, to uh, keep his two bishops and and uh, grind out the game. So uh, you know, we can't fault we we can't fight uh, we can't fault Black for playing this. He played a very very good game. Uh, I mean, well, really, he did. And 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 again, credit for White. He played a really really good game. You know, a little defensive here, but he, he held on. Okay, so let's see. We have about seven minutes. Uh, I, you know, again, I, like I say, I don't know how long a game's going to take when when I start one. So let's let's come back and we'll spend the rest of. I don't want to cheat you out of time. I don't want to start a new one. Let's come back to, to the line, to this line. Okay. What is? How does Black defend this? He has got to. He's got to stop the mate threat. He's about to lose a rook, and 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 a king right behind it. Okay. So like, if he plays something like this, hello. Check. Check Checkmate. All right, you know, and, I mean, he's not going to play bishop h1. If he tries something like this, check. I think he's he's headed for mate. Check. 
checkmate. checkmate. So Black is forced to play Bishop check. Okay. Check. Now Rook E3. <laughs> what does I mean? I could turn the ICC computer on and, but I'm not going to bother. Again, we're going to solve this or not solve this or leave it to you to solve it. So check. check. That takes the queen off. You know, and again, we can we can look at this and say, oh, I can't do this. I'm I'm losing. I'm I'm down the exchange. You know, I saw I'm down the exchange. But you know, uh, in Jeremy Sullivan talks about it in his fourth edition of how to reassess our chess, your chess. A lot of times, well, we because our brains are programmed when we play chess a certain way, we tell ourselves we can't do a certain move. And what Sullivan says, you got to essentially he says this. He says. You've you got to set a little trigger off in your head. Maybe I added that to it. That every time your your mind says can't, that's this that's the secret word. You know, say the secret word. Win an extra fifty dollars. Who said that? Uh, Groucho Marx. <laughs> or right, anyway, uh, that's what his old TV show. But well, the secret word is can't. When you when can't goes off in your mind, what if I you say what if I can? Okay. Now you reach this position, and it's black to play. Now, what if it was white to play? Let's let's put this here. I don't know, maybe that's the defense. Well, here comes this check again. Check. I don't know. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Not that. Here comes this move. Okay, that was what we we're doing. Now this is a threat. Now maybe maybe black can defend this, but I think we looked at lines like this. Check. And what happens? White comes up a clear pawn ahead. I mean, who in here would not want to have white? Okay, who in here would, would want to have black? So, you know, let's, uh, oops. Whose move is it? Oh, let's try a different one. Okay, well here comes this here comes this move again. <laughs> now, is there any way for black to get onto this diagonal with his queen? You know. Okay, we take. Check. He takes. You know, we can play here, but we drop the queen. We could play here. Now maybe, maybe here, here we go. Maybe we found a defense here. Now the point is we answer that with this. Check. Okay, so maybe maybe white can't do this. Maybe I've solved it. Check. And then white can cry. Checkmate. Check Ouch. <laughs> so how did I get how did I do this? Uh I played Queen D one. So white needs but then again, what if white just does this? Now, white's a pawn up. The queens are still on the board. Uh, white's king is exposed. Uh, but black, white's bishop is pinned. But, you know, if you had to play a color here, who would you play? Would you play white? Or would you play black? Well, I think we'd all vote for white. Although, you know, white's... You know, Black's got some compensation here. His bishop is very active. His queen is very active. Um, you know. You know, we, we run into trouble. See, we can't even go here. This this allows a mate one. Checkmate. Okay. Uh, here, we're going to Drop it with check. check. Okay. And then what did I say? This one didn't work. Check. You know, we get it we get it a different way. Check. And Black's problem is his queen can't deliver this critical check. When the queen was checking here, Black was checkmating. So uh it looks like uh, white White did have a win here. Okay. Uh, with with this. 
But, you know, he only has six minutes and 17 seconds. And he let his clock get down to 10 seconds before he played this. How do I know that? Well, you should know that. You got a 45-second increment added. Now, this was this was a fascinating game. And, and uh, you know, uh, the draw was was a good result because uh, they both had their shot to win this and and uh, and the draw was a fair result. Well anyway, uh, I have to preserve my voice. I think my schedule tomorrow is 2 to 4 p.m. Pacific. I will will be back for that. Uh, I don't know if I need to rest my voice uh, you know for a few days. I've got a potential solution for all that that I'm working on. Uh, I'm you know this the uh, don't have the people I need yet, but uh, this channel is going, you know, it's going to, you know, I've been thinking about how I want to continue with this. Uh, right now I have a lot of games from Team 45 yet to cover, and then I'm going to get more from the Dan Heisman Learning Center. <clears throat> uh, I My guarantee was that with Team 45 I would cover uh, round, round six, of their preliminary, and uh, that's where, you know, that's that's where I'm at now, and I still have plenty of games left to share from that. With Dan Heisman, I've said if you if you uh, belong to my group and join his group and get a, and get in a in a tournament, they run 45 45 events, and then if you if you complete those without a without a forfeit. Uh, a forward means you don't show up to play your game. You you can start playing in other ones like ninety thirty, and they have they they're really doing a great service for chess. And so I'm I'm I've uh, not getting many entries I, I advertise, but I'm, I'm going to get the games, uh, uh, so I can cover them and and uh, and I have websites I haven't gone yet to. I will get there, but uh, I've got plans that'll. That will I can't announce yet because I don't know. Uh, all the, I haven't worked out all the details, but I I, I know the basic in my mind, and it's just going to make this channel better. And uh, you know, uh, if I'm if I'm doing doing a lousy job, you know, tell me tell me I suck and why. Maybe I do. Maybe I talk too much. I can't help it. That's who I am. You get me. Uh, but uh, I think I got a you're a good guy. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, thanks. <coughs> Some people would disagree with that, but that's neither here nor there. But anyway, the you, know, you want to get better at chess, you got to play the slow games, okay? Blitz chess isn't going to get it. You know, there's not not the focus of this channel. It's your improvement. Okay, I could talk forever. I want to thank you so much. Uh, uh, I realize you always can't be here unless unless you're a retired millionaire. Your doctor said uh, stay home and watch chess chess broadcasts all day. <laughs> but uh, I've got the time. I've got my schedule. I'm going to do my best to keep it. And and uh, uh, I've talked quietly today, but I'm still very very hoarse. My neck, I probably should go see the doctor myself and. Make you know if, if I ruin the voice, then I, I go on disability. Uh, I don't want that. I want to. I want to. I want to play chess for the next twenty-four years. Okay, at least because I got My dad's eighty-seven, and he's good. To, he's good for I think until a hundred. And uh, uh, I'm gonna match him so. It's a long, I'm only 63. I feel like a kid. All right. <laughs> anyway, chess is, chess is a blast. Thanks so much. Uh, come back and watch. Tell your friends. Come in. Hang around. We'll have a, we'll have a blast. Okay, so thanks again.